everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology. If you are new here then my name is Miss Estric and I'm here to help you get to grips with those most challenging topics in biology, improve your study skills techniques and to help you get the grades that you deserve. And this video specifically is going to be linked to A-level paper 2, which if you are watching this the day it's uploaded it is in two days. So I'm going to give you four key tips to help you prepare in these final two days and for strategies to follow in the exams to make sure that you get those top grades. Tip number one, I'm gonna go in with the strategy. Now, unlike paper one, do not start at the back. At the back of paper two, there is a comprehension question. So you get a block of text, which is about half a page, and they number the lines, and then you have questions that refer to the text, and you're told to use that information plus your own knowledge to answer the questions. These are often application questions and they are quite tricky. So I don't suggest starting on those. Start at the beginning and work your way through. But what I am getting a lot of questions of are how to approach these questions. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is if you haven't already downloaded my free skills bundle, from my website, then definitely head there. I'll link it in the description below, but you can download that and there is a booklet just on comprehension questions. And that is the best way to improve practice. But the strategy for how to approach those questions is similar to what I recommend in my application questions video, which I'll link up here if you haven't seen that before. What you'd need to be doing is underlining or highlighting the key information in the block of text that you're given. And I always annotate as I go. So I'll be annotating if there was a bit of information, what that means or what topic that links to or potential key words I think could link to that. The reason for that is when you then get to the questions at the end, you can easily find the information, although they do number the lines, but also it helps you get to those key points to answer those questions. Top tip number two is actually to make you aware of the fact that paper two is the most application heavy paper of all three. For paper two, you will have 52 to 56% of the marks as application questions. So over half of the paper will be application. You'll only have 23 to 27% AO1, and AO1, that means it's skills that are linked to just assessing your knowledge. So you'll have up to 27% of the marks will be knowledge-based questions, up to 56% will be application where you have to apply your knowledge to unfamiliar circumstances. And then the rest would be AO3, which is where you'd have to conclude, evaluate, and that's mainly linked to the practical skills. So how to prepare for that? As I said in my first tip, watch my application video if you haven't already. I go through four key tips of how to answer application questions. I also mentioned earlier my assessment booklet to do with skills. Now, as well as there being a whole bank of questions which are just comprehension, there is a second, well, there's more than two, there is another booklet which is just application questions. So practice those two skills to help you to prepare for paper two. Top tip number three. Now this is repeating myself. I'm probably gonna say this in every video that comes up between now and the end of the exams, but that is bullet point your answers. I cannot emphasize enough how much time that will save you and how much better your answer will be. If you're bullet pointing, as you might have seen me doing in all the live sessions where I've been answering the exam questions, you can check you've got enough marking points for the number of marks the question's worth, and each time you pick out what is the key marking point that you think, and you're gonna be much quicker and more concise. And I know so many of you ran out of time on paper one, so please bullet point your answers to help you be more concise and faster in this paper. Okay, so my final tip. Some of you have been asking how to prepare best now for paper two and for paper three, especially if you mainly focused on revising for paper one and now you've realized you're running out of time. The best thing to do is revise the topic list. And I know there's lots of controversial comments on Twitter, TikTok about whether it is following the lists or not. 
But what we do know for definite is paper one, I've seen paper one and I analyzed it. And 85% of the marks were from the topic list, 15% were not. And the highest scoring question was a four marker. In total, it was only 14 marks out of 91 marks that were not from the list. Your best way to bank more marks is to stick to the list because you know that is definitely coming up. And the required practical on the list, which is the respiration one, required practical nine, that is definitely coming up. Spend your time focusing on the list rather than revising things not on the list for a potential 14 marks, which you might actually be able to answer anyway. And if you are worrying about not revising things off the list, in these last two days, let me give you another reason. 15% of the marks will be from topics not on the list. That means 85% are the list. To get an A star, it is normally 67%. To get an A, it's around 56%. To get a B, it's about 48%. So you can sacrifice those 15%, those marks, and you'd still, if you did gain lots of marks, easily get into those high grades. And you're more likely to, if you're prioritizing your revision. And in these final two days, that is absolutely what you should be doing. So that is it, my four final key tips to help you prepare for paper two in these last two days. So I just want to wish you all the best of luck. And if paper one didn't feel like it went well, just forget it. You've got another chance now, paper two, going positive. You can do well on this paper and you will. So wishing you all the best of luck. And just like last time, I'll be catching up with you on Instagram and TikTok straight away afterwards to see how you found it. Bye.